Father God, in Jesus' name, this is what the Lord's given me. Deep gloom, darkness over the land, the sixth seal pulled by Jesus, Jesus himself. I almost mispronounced the name of the King of Kings. Nuclear earthquakes. All right, if you look down there, dang, it's hard to. Nuclear earthquakes. The Lord told me the sixth seal has already been pulled, and where it says, the first thing that says, there was an earthquake. I think the Lord told me that happened back in May. April, end of April, maybe May. It was right about the time there were a bunch of earthquakes in Alaska. And then there was a ton of earthquakes. You know, Paul Bagley reports on all this stuff. But I was actually watching one of Paul Bagley's videos. And he was reporting that there was a ton of earthquakes happening in Alaska. Well, the Lord, and that was right about the time also Kim Jong-un started to launch more missiles into the, at, like, towards Japan. And knowing that World War III is on the horizon for all these months, waiting, and now there's still weeks left, but the sixth seal has been pulled and, and Jesus himself will make that determination when it is. So when World War III happens, it's the sixth seal and it was God who made it happen. Deep gloom, darkness. There's going to be a time of darkness where there's a lot of debris in the air. And spiritually, with all the death and people gone. Then I forgot to talk about the snowboarding story. I had a dream a long time ago and I shared it on YouTube. And uh, I saw a snowboarder in this vision, dream is very vivid. And he was snowboarding. And there are certain things that I clearly remember. Is the mountain was not yet open. And he was snowboarding on man-made snow. Okay. And this was all an indication as to the timing when this thing happens. World War Three, The sky rolled up like a scroll. So in the dream it happened... Before the ski season, before the ski hill opened for sure, but during the time where they're out there getting ready, running their snow making guns at night. Somewhere in Colorado, and every year it's different time of year, depending on where your location. Some some ski resorts open in, in like uh end of October. Others open, depends on the year too, but in the dream, ski season had not yet started, but they were making snow and getting ready for the ski season to start. So that's another confirmation of it going down pretty soon here. Now Jesus is Lord, time is running out, get your heart right with God. That's what this is all about. It's all about the fulfillment of the ages. We are in the end days and we're going to actually see the apex of the end of the age. It's about to happen. It's kind of exciting. The Antichrist is here. The two witnesses are here. The beast, the seven nations with ten leaders is here. You know, uh, my goodness, it's the end of the age. We're... It's kind of exciting, you know, Donald Trump, the last Trump, the one thing that 
finally explains that verse that didn't make sense when you line up all the uh the the trumpets and the bowls. You go, how could that the Trump the last Trump the trumpet will say? Donald Trump is the last Trump. I mean, it's all lining up. The woman clothed with the sun, you know. And look how Kim Jong-un speaks so blasphemously about Americans. That's fulfilled in... I should show you. It's in Revelation chapter 13. How the beast is uttering blasphemous, prideful words, which is exactly what Kim Jong-un has been doing. And it's going to get worse because after World War III, they continue to speak against God. So, in God's people, the war is against the saints. It's against the saints. So, everybody get ready. All you guys who thought the rapture is already supposed to happen, well, you're going to find out. Unfortunately, yeah, you're, you're going to find out. And then those foolish virgins they're gonna find out too that they missed the bridegroom i'm just saying it's all gonna come to pass